There we go. Oh, I, I forgot to turn on the sidebars. There we go. <laughs> uh, oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helian today, along with... Oops, mate, Rick here, at your service. And, dear Captain, why are you trapped inside a red box? <laughs> yes, because I have... On, v yeah, on OBS, I have VC face selected. So let's unselect that. And, uh... Yeah, last time we managed to get two more of the two more of the masks needed to wake Polocus up, and uh, hope met with some luck we'll be able to get our hands on the fourth one in this stream. And, oh dear! Yeah, we'll be heading to the Tomb of the Ancients, somewhere in the sky. The pirate ship, twelve thousand extra. They've been freaking busy. <laughs> the main villain, somehow intimidating and somehow still. <laughs> Yeah, but no, I think it is. It is impressive. He he's still intimidating as heck. Clark was captured here before being brought to the technical checkup. Wait, did he get captured again? Or Wait, brought this... to the technical checkup? Why was he? Oh, I'm shot. <laughs> Wait, are they trying to save the comrades inside him? Uh, oh. uh, it is extremely likely. Yeah, you know, well, I, I don't. It's not said in the game specifically, but in the manual, I think it is said that he ate. You know, that <laughs> part of the way he did to kill some of the robots is by eating them, and well, one was rusty, so that gave him a stomach ache. Yeah, I don't think it's good to eat rust. Yeah, there's a switch down here. And, and actually, and actually, we can just. Before I forget, I was to tell you this earlier. Uh, since yes, they've been talking about forms and such a bit with the uh, big trucker. Yeah. I watched a little clip with a VTuber, Iron Mouse, watching some uh, video clips, and one of the clips was about a farmer having problems with groundhogs okay. eating his vegetables. And oh, it, it I, was just, I think it I remember. I think I know where this is going. The groundhogs, all of them, even each time, had the goal to go in front of his security cameras and eat the vegetable in front of the cameras while staring into the camera. Each and every damn time. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you can, you can't convince me they didn't know what the hell they were doing with that, and it it brought freaking it brought freaking friends to add to the taunting. <laughs> I kind of wonder, did the former do something against the groundhogs, or the uh, groundhogs just some really arseholes? Uh, um, is that a mimic? I guess. We can retract it for a bit, and I did. I saw you there, you spindly little. Okay, I don't. I have to say, I don't remember anything about this level at all. Uh oh. Okay, that brings the second one up. Hmm. Okay, for a moment I thought the game wasn't giving any sound, but or at least not on OBS, but it is recording. It, it's just. Well, yep. being soft, it's being low here. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I, I don't remember this level at all. So we'll have to see what all happens. And oh, okay, don't touch that. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, there's another one there. Uh, yeah, the pit we d jumped into earlier actually had a one of the robo pirates in the grave and here's another one just completely rusted away 
Is, is that stone? That look... Wait, is that a fake razor beard? <laughs> okay. It, it's rid of stone. Wait, there's two of them. Okay, that's odd. Hmm. Ancestors or... Hold you have a, a bit of a god complex? There's something off here. But uh, yes. I can hear the music and all. Uh, but is, uh, yeah, I, I mean on the overlay, uh, there's this bar here that I think should be hidden behind the sidebar. Or did something go wrong or something? Let me let me see if I push these up somewhat. Or actually, if I turn those off. Hmm. Or oh no 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 no! I, I, I'm 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 being dumb. I've been working on a new base up for the overlay. So uh, yeah, I <laughs> I've been I've been filling around with screen sizes and those oop, not falling for that again. And uh, yeah, the new windows are going to be hide the new window is going to be hiding the uh, well the borders of the original overlay. So I was just confused there for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I see. It's a different background now. <laughs> And the, the background is the sidebar still. Uh, yeah, that's still a, a work in progress. I wanted to try and get it done for this stream, but uh, yeah, I'd have. I, uh, damn it! I realized I'd have to resize the gameplay windows on a real quick notice for that, and I'd have to calculate how to change them around a bit. And yeah, I wasn't going to be able to get done in is it a few minutes. Oh, hello, Noreen. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, yeah, well, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. And I have little to no idea what the hell is going on with this level. Okay, just got a good few spins. Now, I didn't remember this one at all. I I know this game had plenty of graveyards. Yeah, that's a fail. <laughs> Plenty of grave, uh, graveyard-like levels to it, but I don't remember this one at all. You, um, do you see the content in the water? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, now it was moving. Is this? Is this? Zeus dreaming waste? <laughs> I guess it could be. Uh. Yeah, if the robot pirates are like that, then they, they, they truly are evil incarnate. <laughs> um, I, I think there's more of the leftovers, like uh, the spoiled water, oil, and fish bones remains. Oh, hello there. Uh, there. <laughs> he immediately gets a whack. Oh. Come on, Rayman, hang around. Don't hang around, just fight. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he wasn't that hard, that, that one. He had it. Yeah, very low health bar, yeah. Yeah. Mostly there to be I mean, a nuisance, I think. Yeah, have we met anyone of them with that low health bar? Um, I think at least once. And... Okay, my guess with the perspective there was completely off, and somehow I still have managed to avoid getting zapped. I'm surprised. Okay, still can't turn this, and yeah, it just stops right there. Hmm. Okay, these aren't falling away. Oh, and we're back to these. Okay. Uh oh. Actually, I should see if there is a way to invert the flight controls with this. Uh, yep. And we missed a cage. Okay. Yeah. I should have kept a better ear out for that. Uh, but then we're not on those things. Next, so... wait a minute. Oh, there we go. The game was somewhat half-selected. Uh, 
I couldn't use the well, option, uh, the option, and uh, the, the start and the menu buttons there for a moment. Uh, is there a no, wrong button? Yep. What? Okay, enlightened. Unfortunately, Polocus uh, couldn't control all of his creations. His night. Oh, come, give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. Just someone intruding again. And I had no idea we had anything like this in the game. <laughs> but, like, what the hell? Uh, yep. Unfortunately, Polocus couldn't uh, uh, couldn't control all his cre of creation. Uh, yep. All of his creations, his nightmares, and negative thoughts gave birth to their own peculiar beasts. So be careful not to meet up with them and avoid any nightmares you might meet in your journeys. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, we can click through this a bit, uh, but where, where is the start? Where is the end? Uh, yeah, it's lo it's looping. Uh, okay. I'm guessing this is the last one. Uh, then this must be the first. I, I had no idea anything like this was in the game. It's, it's never told us to hold... Uh, which button was that? Uh, the, I think that was the select or start button. I, I can't actually tell when they're not labeled which. I, it's the left one on the controller in the middle. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll have something to read along the way. Uh, yeah, a bit of lore. Yellow lumps are the 1,000 fragments of the heart of the world, broken by the pirates. They contain, uh, contain universal knowledge. The more you gather, the more you will learn. You can access the secrets of the world by pressing F1. Okay, we have heard of pressing S F1 at one point before, but I think that was only once or so? Hmm. Yeah. Huh. First, you must know that the universe is made of energy. Everything that moves around you, everything that lives and thinks, is given life by the tiny magical lights we call lums. There are four types of lums. The most important ones are the yellow lums. There are 1,000 of them. The yellow lums give knowledge to those who gather them and can, always, can also open doors into unknown places. The red lums are full of vital energy. They can prolong your life. Pirates love them, destroy them, and... Yep, destroy them and you can take all the red lumps which they have stolen for yourself. Okay, that, that were, that's a bit of an odd break in the text. Purple lumps assume the, uh, co assure the cohesion of the world. Without them, nothing would be solid or visible. Uh, with your magic fist, you can jump through the air and grab them one after another. Blue lumps contain the first breath. They are the origin of all life. Each creature receives uh, at birth his blue lumps and keeps them until the day they die. Okay. One day the lumps focus their energy into thought and their, con uh, their consciousness brought to life a strange and marvelous creature, Polocus. His power is such that his smallest dream or desire becomes reality. One, uh, yeah, next, come on. It's, oh, it's, I need to... Selected anyway. Polocus decided to use his powers to bring people to the world. He began with the magical beings and dreamed up the fairies. Uh, they are his emissaries. After the first four lumps, they made the silver lumps, which give you your special powers. Polocus then created the Teensies. Their role is to unveil all the roads in the world. They know every secret passage and can lead you to the Hall of Doors, where all parts eventually come together. Next, he created the simpler creatures, the people. First came Clark. His incredible strength proved very useful in carving the landscape. Uh, to unfold the hills into the monotonous plains and to deviate the two, imper uh, the two impetuous rivers? I guess it is. Okay. That puts a bit of a different spin on, uh, well, some of the characters we know. After came the adorable Glowbox and his family. Aren't they cute? 
The wise sages don't know what Pollocus had in mind when creating them, but he truly used his sense of humor for inspiration. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so basically they think he was hiding out of his mind when he made Glowbox. <laughs> Pollocus finished his creative efforts by con uh, conceiving a multitude of fantastic creatures like Murphy, the flying one-volume encyclopedia, ugh. Or the horrible Ike, who spends his time getting drunk on strange brews fermented in the depths of the marshes. <laughs> okay. And that's, that brings us to this one. We need 23 more to get more on this. Okay, I'm definitely interested in that. I, I think I've gotten Rayman to do this animation before, but I've never actually held it long enough to get to that. Okay. And How does that feel to finally learn you missed lure over all these years? <laughs> it feels ow, ow. quite interesting <laughs> and quite happy as well. Yeah, for, I always been curious about uh, the Rayman world, and suddenly there we go. Well, we missed that bro uh, cage. <laughs> I was expecting actually, it to go the other way first. Actually, yeah, I feel I ask about this in the first dream. But now we finally have the answer. Yeah. Yep. These creepy little things again. Yep. Okay, at least they don't do much damage and they don't knock us free. Hmm. Hey, now, now, now we actually have another good reason to collect lums. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Probably why they say they want you to collect the bloody 1000 to begin with. Yeah, I don't think there is actually anything you unlock from that, and I hear a cage. Uh, but it is something you can do, or, well, could do, since Razorbeard ate one. Yeah, no, too many things about it, considering. The age group it probably was aimed for. I, I think most kids will probably ignore the lure. But yeah, they probably still... wouldn't even know to find it like that. Yeah, most kids that I knew back then at least would ignore lore. I, I, myself, I was a bit 50 50. I did more and you the lore and stories, especially the more older I got. But most kids did not care one bit. Yep. Damn it. <laughs> I jumped too early. Oh, oh, come on. We have to do that again as well. At the very least, we can... Oh, I see. We can't hit it because there's a... Gunk in the way. Can we get a shot off from here? Yes, we can. There we go. Get some extra lums. Oh, one extra lum, I think. Oh, hell. Okay, ambush. <laughs> Filthy pirate! Uh, at the very least, it's oily. Hmm. Really? Now, now I'm now I'm getting curious about what other uh, revelations that might have for us, actually. Perhaps uh, Polyhawk created new in. <laughs> They did create the fairies at all, so... Could Polygos be Nuin's god? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Okay, these stupid undead chickens are starting to get annoying. Let's hope we find a checkpoint quickly after this so we don't have to redo that again. And I still hear a cage somewhere around here. Where is it, though? I, I can't turn the camera up. And now I can't turn it at all. Hmm. Yep. What the heck? Yep. What the is going on? Nope. Oh, come. Come on. Freaking camera. 
I am kind of surprised over how many this... I, I've never seen so many of them pop up. Yeah, and, but we are kind of in a graveyard of sorts, so... Also, this bevel is <laughs> this bevel is headed upstream. <laughs> I just noticed. Okay. At least these respawn here, so we don't get a death. Not that it does much, except for well, reset us to wherever the start of a level is or the start of a big checkpoint. Hmm. But uh, yeah, on the. Uh, <clears throat> On the new overlay that I'm working on, it'll it'll still use the same base of this. It'll it will end up with a bigger screen. Yep, uh, motherfucker. Uh, a bigger screen for the uh, gameplay. And yeah, I'll have to move the chat a tiny bit. I think I haven't tried to fit that in yet. And uh, yep. <laughs> come on. What was the that was... sound, Helian? Yeah, that was me being angry with my lips forced shut. <laughs> yeah, but they... It sounded like I barked. Uh, no. Some of you try to imitate an elephant. <laughs> and failed. <laughs> I, got, I was caught off guard by it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, careful saying that, Noon. Careful with that. Uh, that's probably going to get clipped by someone. Probably by noon for Kusi what he just wrote. But uh, yeah, the game, the window for gameplay will be a bit uh, bigger. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll have it. It'll be moved up and to the left a bit, not entirely touching the corner. Because I'll actually add a border, or rather a frame, over, uh, around it. Uh, nothing too big, not to to keep it unintrusive. I hope. Okay, come on, fifth time to charm. <laughs> there we go, and just immediately move over here. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Uh, nope, I'm a nice fairy. Um, and I think it did you a bit more. Sipping juice, I think. Nope. Um, I might. I think I somewhat recognized that from that Demon Slayer anime or something. Or no, not the. Uh, that not that not that anime wherein you slay demons narrows it down much. Uh, hmm. I complete. I'm I'm drawing a complete blank on the name of that. But there's demon slayers and there's goblin slayer. Not but, but, goblin slayer at least. I it. I have read a little bit of goblin slayer before it came an anime, uh, the manga then, but I quickly gave up due to it was a bit. A bit too dark for me. It made me actually uneasy. Okay. Oh, I hear and a And I heard verbal. a block much of that over to the anime, so... Oh. <laughs> this one's just chucking barrel uh, explosives at us. Okay. Okay, so its aim is good enough. <laughs> Can we hit you? No, we can. We might have been able to hit them earlier, but oh well. Hmm. But, uh, oh dear. Yeah, now now we know why uh, some pirates, or some or most of them at least, uh, actually drop red lums, which is a better reason than uh, you get in many games that they, they just have random healing items around and don't actually use them. But there you are. Okay, it's an upgraded one. <laughs> Oop. Okay, are we supposed to just use that for combat or... <laughs> Holy! 
Uh, uh, okay, we needed to blow open the door. That was just to lock us in so we don't run away. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, the, the music for combat actually gets pretty banger, huh? Yeah, and do you hear that? Ah, that's why. I was only way over there. Yep. And that's cage number 60 that we've broken. Uh, no, we could have just fled any time just by grabbing the purple lum here. So, That's quite a handful. We're missing also, 20 in total now. Actually, let's see if we can unlock the uh, another page again. Uh, uh, let's see, how many lums do we... Uh, oh yeah, we, ha we should have enough lums now. Let's see. Okay, unfortunately, Polycus... After having created all the creatures who live in the world, a harder task remained, creating time. So Polycus went to the place where all the gods of all the worlds meet, and together they set about dreaming up the future. Okay, and we need 46 to get more. All right. And I hear the noise of a cage, or yeah, I think wait. I heard it. Wait, I gotta take me... This says, uh, do that again. Hmm, what, this? Yeah. Okay. Did not work then, all right. Technical checkup. Wait, did they actually capture him again? Oh, yeah, yes, they did. That. Yeah, I thought they meant that was where they originally captured him, but no, they caught him again. Uh-oh. Yeah, Clark's the boss. Is, uh, this is very twisted ironic. <laughs> yeah, seeing as Clark is one of Rayman's friends. Uh, I must be thinking of a robot controlling him like a toy, a toy. I guess, yeah. Okay, we. So we need to trip him with a. He trips over a laser beam. And then we just have to break the box on his back. Okay, simple enough. Uh, though this ticking is probably going to get annoying. Since all three of these are ticking on their own timers. <laughs> One of them is going to go off. Yep. Oh, there we go. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> uh. And then we can use him as a platform to free the, the teeny. <laughs> also, that looks like it probably hurt on his back there. Yeah. Wait, where's the... There's the portal. <laughs> I was going to ask. Uh, can we... I don't think we can actually... I, this game doesn't actually have an interact button, so we can't actually talk with him, I think. So, see you later, Clark. Still missed a good amount. Yes. And the Iron Mountains. Okay. We're getting closer and closer to filling up all of that up. And oh, time for this again. Welcome to Conjure Chamber of the TDCs. Splendid. You could not lose the best through. <laughs> I gotta stop there. I don't know why I started to shift the accents. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon? <clears throat> um. Yeah, 
on a note, it, we should be... We've been streaming for quite a few days in a row now. And I think we are still going to cap it at four per week. So this is the second of this week. Well, the start counting from Monday, that is. And we should also be able to stream tomorrow. So yeah, we're going, to, we're going for a bit of a record of streams in a row. Wait, are we going to take a break tomorrow? Or do I... or, hmm. are we... I'll leave it to you. I, yeah, I wasn't expecting to be able to stream today. So I thought we could use today as a rest day instead. But then, yeah, still showed up and managed to show up in time. And the hell is this? Okay, did the pirates make a particle accelerator or something? That's a damn good question. What the heck is this? Oh, there's switches at the very least. But yeah, I, I will post three more tomorrow, depending on how the weekend looks for... We do have weekend streams as well. True, well, it would... Uh... Not, we have one weekend stream, technically. The uh, Our third stream of the week could be any time, basically. Come on, hit the freaking thing, Rayman. Mm, true. And, yeah, that's the third stream, which could be tomorrow, could be whenever. Uh, would be the first stream of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. And I'll say this, I, I've already tested it. And it works perfectly, uh, with one little thing added, because it actually is a fun little glitch. Not really a glitch, but an oversight, I'd say, uh, with the game. But yeah, okay, it, it, it's not anything harmful, anything. Come on, Rayman, hit the freaking thing. You make me bloody damn curious. Uh, if we move, do we just have to keep firing forwards or something? Other switch. Where, am I not firing at the height? Okay, I'm getting confused. So you managed to hit the first one. No, I have to say, let's do it tomorrow as well, just to break the record. <laughs> oh, I, I did hit it. I just didn't notice the. I just hit it just there. I, I forgot to notice. I, well, didn't notice the lightning turning off. I, I did it either until you just you were about to mention it. So yeah, I, I was supposed to make jump shots to hit that. <laughs> oh, Hello. Dear. Okay, this one's taking its time aiming, or it was. <laughs> there we go. Okay, smart one. I was actually thought to guard uh, a ledge. I'm guessing this one won't respawn. No, they don't respawn. Which means that it's just uh, this tin <laughs> jackass over here to deal with. Yeah, uh, I just realized uh, there's a question I want to ask. What happened to the mushroom people? Uh, From the very first game. Yeah, I, I guess they just didn't continue that design in this one or or maybe the or maybe the pirates just ran them all through a grinder for oil or something and okay so we can charge the attack it's it just we can wait so we we can charge an attack whilst i th i thought we could only charge them whilst targeting something like we're being in targeting mode oh well <laughs> the more we try, the more we learn. Okay. What? I can hear another. Nope. Oh, okay, just completely ambushed me around the corner. That is actually smart. Oh, and now there's a, another. The grenades and drill? It's not grenades, it's just chucking <laughs> barrels of explosives directly at us. And... Okay, we can charge whilst just normally running around. 
We have to be standing still or targeting. Okay, come on. Just one more good hit. Oh, there you are. This one's being tricky just by how elusive he's being. Okay, he got a good amount of hits in, but well, we healed most of it back up. Uh, yeah, and was... um, take a look at how much health you have. Yeah, <laughs> with that match, they'd, they'd have to throw like a dozen at us by now. There we go. That's two down to yet another health upgrade. Also, uh, I don't think you're supposed to stack boxes like this. Yeah, I'm surprised it's standing. Did I get that on my ricochet again? You did. I've been getting a lot of ricochet shots in this game. very good at ambushes. Yeah, they are... <laughs> they are starting to get sick of us, I think. Uh, is there anything here? Or did I just... Okay, I thought I saw a ledge there, but no, that was just a perspective thing for me. Yep. And it's time for another wind section, it seems. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there was a. I, I thought those were supposed. To, I thought those were wind currents or something, but no, they're they're water spouts, water flows. Yeah. So, is that a leaking dam you're playing post? And oh, can't you turn around and shoot the cage? Mm, yeah, the, the boxes are too high up from each other to jump back. Oh well. You can't turn the camera either, I guess. Yeah, we can turn it, but there's no way we could jump that high. Oh. Uh, yeah, hello. then you missed your chance. Uh, yeah, we're not so, going for 100% anyways. Not that there's any rewards for that, I think. Oh, hello. Okay. You big mofo. Did it, did the robot bird just fart? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. Okay. Is it having gas problems? That was clever, that we need to bounce off of... That we need to use that thing to bounce. What is it? Is that a killer robotic kiwi bird? I guess. Reformatory for dis for disturbing children, okay. Uh, do we even know to know what robo <laughs> pirate chickens look like or anything? Well, that was easy. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, well, don't think we got that animation before where they get electrocuted. Dear. Oh, wait, is this... Oh. I think this is where they try to... Well, reform teenies, or teensies. Or something. Because there's a... There's a spot for a cage to our right there. But it didn't have a cage. Oh. Hello. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. That was a bit unexpected to just get on one of these. Wait, wait, which side of the ship are we on now? Uh, we're back on the normal ground, I think. Uh, are you sure? Oh, oh. There was just, there was a ramp there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's take a look here. Some red lums. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> this, this is curious to say the least. Um... Uh, Let's see, which was the... Oh, that, that is a way down, but not uh, a recommended way down, I think. So, let's try it this way, because this seems to be the leg that goes down to the lower area. That, or a leg that goes to the lower area. Actually, I think, I think that was the hole we came out of at first. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's see here... Where? How? <laughs> Did we not explode there? What the heck was the... What the uh, heck were those? It's, it's some of Globlox's kids. And are they getting shot at by something? I, I, I think I saw something... <laughs> How did we not follow up there? Also, what do we need this thing for? Do we need to blow up the robot chicken with this? Nope. It definitely wants us to blow up. <laughs> uh, wait, what is that over there? Ow. Okay. <laughs> we, just, we just got stepped on by a giant chicken. Okay. And... Yeah, that is the hole we game and we come out of here. Uh, luckily, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do those switches again. Uh, let's hope we don't blow up going down the ramp this time, because I have no idea how we did not blow up last time there. So what Wait. are you three up to? Where'd they go? Oh, I can hear them here. Uh... Okay, that works. Oh, no. and, okay, I was I was really expecting it to blow up there. Are we? Are we to trick it inside? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, we need to go here. Okay. <laughs> I jumped too early. Well done. Okay. <laughs> if you fail again, you will have to ask Nguyen very nicely to carry you over. Uh, I get the feeling speedruns probably know some sort of trick to jump instantly from here to wherever that is. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I think I I'll go. Up. I think I might look up a, a, a speedrun of this game. Just to see how people break this. And yeah, I, the, the little ones are r running out here. Okay. Are they, supposed to, are they supposed to lead us over there or something? Because they're definitely not fast enough for that. And yeah, that I think that is the rope. Come on. That's the robot chicken making that stupid noise. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? But that is heavy work and I am a small fairy. Hmm. That is true, Noon. You are very small. Actually, can I run up these walls? Or are they... Yeah, th these are too sheer for me to get onto. That, that's an instant blow up. So now that's a freaking 90 degree angle. Okay, so we just have to, well, not get underfoot of the stupid robot. Mm. Oh. Mm. 
okay, we need... That's not going to work, just go heading straight for it. I think we need to get around it, or get behind it and then around it. Yeah, for you, you, you when you road around it, yeah, it you are it, closer. Yeah, it, it didn't catch up as much. Even though it had more time to. So that, that sound is getting really annoying now. It's not like loud annoying, but it's low volume annoying. Yeah. Is there a cooldown on this actually? Actually, no. We can just we can just spam that. Yeah, that might actually do better. There we go. <laughs> Rayman pulls a Yoshi on in the at the shell on the shop. <laughs> Holy. Okay, just 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 tell us how much you really care about that thing, Rayman. Ooh, what did we? Oh, hello, sneaky lum. Uh, how do we get to you? You're out of our. Oh, there's plums here. Yeah, there's some yummy so, plums. Yeah, so we yep. just grab one of these, throw it over there, and use it as. No, hide you oh, hide in ground. Okay. The hell was that noise? It was oh, me. I know there was another noise, but I think I know who made that noise. Need to chuck this up here, like a an overly colorful football. Okay, up. I just need you not to bounce away. And for that, I probably should not throw it into the structure above. There we go. It's another five lumps, I think. Uh, um, not forgetting something? Uh, we don't need... We don't need a plum. It actually doesn't work in foil like this. You still should eat the plum. Look at you, you... Um, I was to say skin and bones, but um, <laughs> Freeman may not have any bones. <laughs> yeah, that makes me realize that he kind of looks like an eggplant. <laughs> yeah, he's purple enough as is. Now, was that who I think I heard, or was it? Just hearing something right short of a freaking checkpoint. You need to catch the cage again. And yeah, there it goes to show that. Uh, now we all, we already oh. have the lums. And okay. Uh, oh. hmm. Hello, Glean Cuckoo. S two. Uh, hey there, uh, how beautiful this game is looking. Which version are you playing? This is the GOG version running the... Uh, okay, it's not shown here, but it, it's running the Ray 2 fix, uh, which is, well, a fix to get this game running better and also running in Windows for me at the moment, so I can keep track of some other stuff around it, like uh, well, another, chat bar, uh, another chat box on the side to keep track of any bots after the stream. Uh, statistic uh, stats on OBS on any f missed frames and such. Though I probably should, I probably should relocate that a bit because it, the game is actually blocking that at the moment. And yep, yeah, there she is. They captured him again. Wait, her name is Uglet. Yep. 
And that's Globox wife. That's um, a <laughs> First of all, it was a mean nickname. Now it's just a mean name. Yeah. And this level, I... I sort of remember this, and... Uh, remember when I said that Globox was a prolific father? It kind of makes sense, considering he's a frog. Yeah, or similar to one, at least. <laughs> yeah, there was many people realize how many eggs frogs lay. Yeah, a lot. Okay. So this totally kind of makes sense. Okay, the the point of the rest of the mission is to not get our ship broken. Uh, which of course has limited health, and we can't we can't fix it up, so we have only one shot at this as we go. Uh yeah, I think we all we really need to do is find all four mines. I'm assuming there's four. And just get all the kids. And I hope it ends after that because, well, we don't have a map or anything to keep track of. And the perspective on this is a bit off, as you can see. Yeah. The camera's a that... bit too far back. As it is, it's a good game and all, but perspective thing could be more polish on. And I think some people in the menu did this, we did not do much voice reading. Is the. Yes, sir, so that. The, you never know when the game allows you to click. So it used to go, nope, you know, now we take control. Now you have to read it in our pace instead of you choosing. I think we're doing pretty good so far. We only have to get one more mine. And I guess I that's this up ahead here. All. Watch out for the banana peel, Helium. <laughs> this is not Mario Kart. Uh, Just making see. sure you can hear me still. <laughs> also, can I just... Uh, oh, come on, that didn't hit the wall at all. I, I, I like the design of these uh, pirate ships a lot. It, it's really uh -oh. simple, just a normal ship, but uh, with some jet engines on it, and it actually flies. And yeah, wait, you've already and been I, there? I, right, I actually sort of recommend you that the sign for Minecraft. Yeah, we, we could try ship. and replicate this somewhat. Yeah, the, uh, for my idea, it was more like a basically wooden oh. ship, but with the uh, tech or crystal engines on the okay. sides. Like, it, it's still simple, but it kind of makes sense in a way. Okay, we got the south mine, and actually we do need to make our way back to our glad as well, it seems. That is going to complicate things a bit because, well, I think we can only take two more hits. <laughs> well, you were to bring back her kids. True, but in a lot of games they just uh, smash cut to you getting them back, but apparently not in this case. Uh, let's try this way then. Oh, we haven't been here yet, because we haven't broken that down. And yes, the game is still using the same flight controls. That means that pressing the pressing down steers us up, and the, well, the opposite. I'm noticing two things here. Hmm? First, many shots comes from the crow nest. Yeah. Second! Oh, oh, this is the hard turn place. Do you notice the sound effect? Yeah, it uses the same one as the the other blasters that the uh, robots, uh, that the robo pirates use. Oh, yeah. I think you just know those me. I heard the sound before. And it's not from Rayman I heard it first time. Okay, where then? Star Wars. Actually, yeah, it does sound similar. It might actually be it the same. It is the same. <laughs> it 
should be the same <laughs> the oh, same yeah. sound effect as the uh, yeah as the uh, as the normal blasters, I believe. Yeah, I'm not sure a normal blaster was stock stock sound or their own at all. Like they don't, you could make many of their own sound effects, but I'm not sure the blaster was one of them. <laughs> but it might be more famous thanks to Star Wars, however. Probably. Uh, Star Wars and Rayman 2 in the same universe confirmed. <laughs> Don't. Nah. No. That's a horrible idea. There we go. Uh. <laughs> These just sound like freaking squeaky toys. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Adorable and disturbing. I didn't think I'd actually make that on the first try. Oh, that, that one gets preferential treatment over all of the other ones. That's how we get the fourth mask. Rascal ate it. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Oh, I do have to wonder: did 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 they go all the way down through a sank uh, through a dungeon, or was it just laying down in the mines or something? Yeah, that explains why, well, we still have to face a final boss instead of have letting Polokus just nuke all of the pirates out of existence. That giant snores in there first. <laughs> hmm. That's still no bonus level, but like we've said plenty of times, we have no interest in the bonus level since, well, they don't really give us much use. And, yeah, the prison ship, which I'm pretty sure is the final level. Yeah, 94 lums, but no bar and no cages at all. Let's see, how much do we have for... Actually, yeah, just to be safe, let's run a... <laughs> let's run a double save. Yep. yep. Let's see, what button do there we go. We are missing seven we missed seventeen cages and we missed uh, three hundred and eighteen lungs. Okay. That's right, a good uh, amount. Uh, hmm? Should we see if we can uh, sum up the lore thingy? Not in here, no. Okay. Alright. 
Razor Beard receives a special guest. We've been poisoning your life? I've got the antidote. Or do you want to do the voice of this thing? <laughs> I'll, I'll take silence as a note then. Equip with the uh, latest uh, power. With oh, we sort of I missed your question, but go ahead and read it. <laughs> <laughs> Equip with the latest power booster, nothing can stop it. You can control it yourself or put it in self pilot. It can kill, crush, destroy, torture, pull ears. It's like a program to squish fleeing victims. In short, it does everything except the dishes. <laughs> Don't forget the name of this marvel, the Grolgoth. Hmm. Side quickly, I have other clients waiting. I have no idea what the hell this thing is or where he's from. He just shows up randomly and sells Razor Beard, <laughs> a robot. Reddits. Wait, it, it also doesn't have any arms or legs. <laughs> well. There's only one thing we've seen that doesn't have it as well. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is he one of the mushrooms? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, I, I think he is just randomly made to show up and oh, sell <laughs> Razor Beard the final boss. And yeah, we're starting out as this thing is actually falling apart. Uh, yeah, I, I, Prolocus might not be able to get up here, but uh, anything he throws probably still can. Oh, but the, the, the. Almost fell off there. Missed a bunch of lumps, but oh well. We, we do not want to get in that. I thought I I thought one of those would hit, but apparently no. We've, we've already gotten 32 of the lumps in this place. Holy. Okay, uh, yeah, with 94 lums here, this level is going to take a while, it... come on. Well, you, you did say you're gonna take a while. True, hopefully less so because of all of my fails. Yeah, we have... oh wait, yeah, we, we saw the half hour later, so we have actually have one hour remaining. Yep. And I was just the morning for you. Oh, we'll have 30 minutes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we, we should have enough time to feel, be able to finish the game. Otherwise, I'd be concerned if okay, you're going to get faint so go. much. There we go. Another one. What is? What? Why the hell do we have all of these things here? But. Uh, Okay. <laughs> this launched us all the way over there. And yes, there's no checkpoints for quite a bit, it seems. At least we keep the lumps. Yep. Okay, can I? Yes, I can finally get that one. Okay. Um, yeah, since we're. Since we're probably going... Oh, and... The, okay, those stay open. That is nice as well. That, we could easily open them again, but... Yeah, it's just nice that they stay open. Uh, yeah, we, since we are... Go, since we are probably going to finish the game here... Oh, 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 okay, still got that. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that it. Hmm. I don't remember this game being so short, but that probably is because the last few times that I played this game, it was quite a while ago, and I was a lot less good at gaming. 
So it, it would have taken me a lot longer to actually get to this point. And I probably would have been trying to get all of the lumps and cages along the way. Hmm. So yeah, uh, I've, I've already tested Rayman 3 and it does work also with a fix, but it, it's even with, yep, yeah, yeah, with or without a fix, yeah, then I'm being stupid. Oh, hello, it's one of you again. Wait, wait. Yeah, it has a different head from the others. And body, a different colored at least. It's a black one. Oh, yeah, and it has a flamethrower. The only difference is he doesn't have his own icon for health bar. Yeah. Is I'm pretty sure that's a lightsaber noise when it lands and jumps. Oh, <laughs> we jumped right into that thing. Okay, let's uh, not do that. <laughs> Boo. Pardon? And uh, before you ask, no, we will not attach flamethrowers to the Ghoulin crew. <laughs> no, we have got enough Scorch March from last time. Yep. Oh, got the... uh. No, you have a lot of health. Uh, actually, I don't think we, actually, we even need to fight you, so let's just move on. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what that uh, what that Are switch you sure? did. Pretty, pretty sh good at stalking you. If this is going to be an, an attrition thing, I, I think it's going to win at this rate, unless. Okay, at least we can hit the robots off screen. The cage is not. Probably because the cages need more accurate... Need more accurate uh, attacks. Okay, at least if we attack fast enough, we can get it gone before it actually hits us. No! <laughs> I call Rayman abuse. <laughs> There we go. Now the yep. That summons forth shells. And okay, these actually look different. Yeah, and now we know you did need to defeat him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, seriously that that just looks wrong. Uh, it goes out to the edge to fall asleep with its Behind in the air. <laughs> uh, can we? Can we get our hands? Wait. Can we climb on the underside of this? Uh, yes, we can. Okay. Yeah, I was always thinking we. There's no way we can slip through that gap. <laughs> We're not supposed to either. Hmm. I think that's actually the first time that we have a solid. Look, well, a solid looking floor that we can actually climb under as well. And, and we accidentally mm. got the lum that was at the front of that thing here. I... Now, let's see. Did we get enough lums? Uh, let's see. Okay, all the creatures. Yeah. To be warned of any problems that might occur, Polocus and. Uh, okay, they. They swap a bit, they swap between an O and a U there. Polycus sent magic masks to the four corners of the world. Before leaving, he explained to the fairies that reuniting all four masks would be all it would take to bring him back. We need just six more lums for another bit of lore. And yeah, there's plenty left to find here, so I'm pretty sure we can get that. And yeah, the reason <laughs> the reason why this shell is different is because it's a flying shell. It uses his legs as 
wings. Uh, um, I'm not gonna body question it. No, come on. Uh, yeah, that this is going to be a big part of the rest of this level, and uh, I'll give a bit of a oops, spoiler. Also, a big part of the final boss fight, and the controls for this are a bit touchy. There we go. And these are not lungs to continue the chapter. Uh, true. But we are safely on ground. <laughs> okay, yeah, we really need red lumps now. And yeah, now we're just flying through this thing. It, oh, down. Okay, going good soon. For that was a bit of a tight turn. No, 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 no. Oh, but, but. Okay. Let's not head that way then. Uh, where, where the hell are we? Is this some sort of cool so, end? I so we are uh, flying in the right direction. Okay, I'm going to call Jinx on that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if we if we turn to the right with this, we well we turn, but we also end up uh, banking with it along. So it's not completely accurate flight controls. Oh okay. dear. Or that might just be my. Nope, that was too early. Uh, that might just be my control. Yes, I'm, I'm using the D-pad here. It, you're, you just bank when you try to steer. So we ha we'll need to correct that. Or just make use of it. Okay. Yeah, this is probably a, where a good chunk of any playthrough's time will uh, go to. I know I, I know I got stuck on this level for quite a while. Yeah, I, I think many kids usually struggle with flight levels. Like some games that are designed for the core to be a flight game, usually it works well. But when a game usually had a flight mini game like this, yeah, yeah, without practice time beforehand. Yeah, it usually goes bad. Okay, let's not hit that thing this time. Scrape the they, walls a bit. Then also, flight mini games usually also a way less polished. Yeah, because it's not the typical controls, and I'm surprised we didn't blow up in that area. Oop, and we missed the last of those lums. This again, getting a bit of a. Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars vibe of those. Oh, 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 oh. So where are those shots coming from? Yep. No, 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 no. Okay. And we made it through. Okay. Say game. Yes. Do we go? Oh. Okay. The boss fight is its own part. All right. Yeah. Oh dear. Hmm. Uh, we could go back. Actually, yes. Let's go back to one of the earlier levels. We, I think, we can just jump out again. Um, I don't want to redo that entire thing if that's not the case. Hmm. Yeah, we. We should just be able to return to the Hall of Doors from the menu. So let's quickly go in here. Yes, we can just walk back here. Or I I think Okay, the Hall of Doors is blanked out. Probably because we're that close to it and it's actually trying to drag us in. Or not. Uh, hmm. Anyways. Let's see. 
Oh, okay. The, the bit at the top is a is a bit of a measure of how much uh, lums and as uh, lums slash knowledge we've gathered. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Da -da -da, the four masks. Since he didn't want to be called back by just anybody, Polocus created fierce guardians to protect the masks, giving them all hidden weaknesses that only a true warrior could discover and use. Uh, a weakness like a an icicle that he actively goes sit under, Axel. And if we find 35 more lums, we'd get even more. So that's... Actually, that wouldn't be the... Hmm. Okay. I think off screen after this, I might go collect more lums to see what other bits we can find, or other bits of lore we might get. And I'll, I'll probably just take screenshots of those and show those next time we do a stream. Or I just put them at the end of the video on YouTube or something. Yeah, otherwise be sure on the next uh, Rayman stream. Yeah. For now, the crow's nest. So is he to do that before or after he swims in lava? Also, yeah, that's just that's just how big this fucking thing is. Oh. oh, nice knowing a glow box. I would like to like to give Rayman had a bit more of yeah, difference in his gibberish. Uh, okay, I'm gonna read up for something for new in here. So if you take pictures of Rayman and put a thin paper over it and draw draw that, would you call it ray tracing? <laughs> I guess yeah. <laughs> That's actually a good one. Ow. Yeah, it, it, I haven't done that trick in years. I know that I was much younger. I used that trick. This ended up being a good practice for me on advanced drawings. Yeah, that is one way that I remember uh, how teaching, how not, not, how uh, drawing was taught back in school. Uh, to just take something, draw it over, and uh, another way that we was done uh, was a. Uh, to draw, uh, to draw a grid over an image, and then, to, well, repeat that image over on a larger grid. And, yeah, pretty obvious what we need to do. We need to kneecap this thing with its own bonds. So, yeah, we need to be at, at a good angle for it. Since it fi he fires these things at an angle towards us. We can't actually harm it, only its own weight can at the moment. And do we get into the second phase already, or...? Yeah, second phase. And this phase is... infamous.
just looks so absolutely dumbfounded. He looks like he's about to enter heaven or something. Also, a uh, random shell. But this one's actually friendly. He's already freaking done. <laughs> and here we go. Okay, what we actually need to do is... Well, we can't just ram him because that would kill us as well. We actually need to grab those orbs and then... Fire them at his hands. Because, right, again, oh. that armor is completely impenetrable. So we have to cook him in his own <laughs> engine. What? Why is the lava inside a ship? Yeah, I, I get the feeling this is a reactor or something. Oh, hello. There we go. Let me see if I can get an angle now. Yep. Are you telling me to have a portable thermal energy generator? Yep. Okay. Would that even work? Well, as long as it can, can, can yeah, as long as it can contain the heat, it can make use of it. Okay, that was the last shot that we had, so we, we, we have to go get a new one. And yeah, as the boss, of course, <laughs> Razor Beard has the best toys, including, <laughs> well, ray tracing shots or ray tracking shots. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. And if we die in this stage, we have to start the entire part over. We don't have to redo the land-based part. But we will have to do this again. And as I pointed out a few times now, the, con the flight controls are inverted. So oh, up is down and down is up. So shouldn't you be climbing that thing? Oh, missed the shots. Oh, noon. Uh, noon. I can feel that heat ray day. <laughs> day 18? What? Dilating. Okay, out of shots again. That he isn't. <laughs> And yeah, there we go. That's how easy you can die in this. Oh. We really need to. We really need to avoid those shots that he fires after us. Okay, no. Okay, so Nuina, that took me a while to realize. Okay, just boil him for a bit. Let's see, I think we get five shots per each of these things. Oh no, Nguyen started to speak with a French accent like a Rayman. Yes, you are and, mischievous fairy. And yeah, it is five shots, so after four, la after four hits, we can just fire off the last one and go collect a new one. We've got... Okay, I thought we lost that shot. Okay. And yeah, it's easiest to just circle here a bit until he gets back up. But still, you got, gotta admit, this is a cool ass area to have a boss fight, just in a thermal generator with the boss in what is 
basically a super suit. Or super yeah, mech. Yeah, it is impressive. Oh, we still no, have one shot. I missed it. Uh, it can... See if it's, it is a flight fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it does mean that we, uh, we don't have to pick what we choose. We can fight and flight. Um, true. Oh, oh um, crap. Um... Come on, shake that one. Try not to run. There he is. Okay, are you slipping all the way back? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I feel like nope. the only thing, like, if this was a movie, this would be epic, but gameplay design. Because it'd be most of the gameplay being running on foot. This yeah, accuracy be ooh. very sudden uh, disorienting. Yeah, okay, come on. I think we can still recover if we get hit whilst we're high enough in the air with that. Okay. Uh, my hands are getting a bit sweaty from this. Oh, oh crap, we can't. That was just a bad turn. It, yeah, if you get stuck in those in these areas whilst the lava is rising, you're dead. Yeah, no, you didn't do a complete reset. He still had lost some health. Yeah, that was the amount of health that we took off whilst we were on top of the crow's nest, I think. Bit unsure. Uh, yeah, yeah, the wrongest wrong. thing here is just flying back and forth and waiting for him to finish his animations. Okay, it's the fifth shot. And go get more. Oop. I need to be careful where I loop because of the pipes that are throughout this place. If I loop into one, then yeah, that's it. You that's mean a pretty like cheap you did death. before? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is a moment where Noon be our companion fairy be useful. I don't think he can kill you by flipping into you, but I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. And there's his other hand. Okay. Come on, get back up. Actually, it might be better if I just dive bomb him like this. That gives him more, gives me more time. Oop. Oop, no, 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 no. Okay. At least he's easily telegraphing his attacks. Well, loudly <laughs> vocalizing them. Come on. Go back down. We don't have any shots to take him on. Okay, it, it is down. He's, yep, we climb down again. Um, oh, how come you can head me in? Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I'm playing on the deck, but I don't think I can come up with this, something like a cold drink to keep <laughs> cool down. <laughs> Do I don't think a cool drink would have much here. Yeah. Oh, it is lowering. Okay, this shot is still on our tail. And now it has a friend. Come on. Yeah, he's being very defensive now. I, I hope nobody can get motion sickness from this, so I'll try not to do too many loops at once. I uh, actually been looking away due to all the motions. 
So he, he's get me a bit disoriented. Come on, razor beards. Okay. I need to get rid of those tracking shots before I go in. There we go. It's lowering again. There, now we should have enough time to get it. Okay, he wasted. No, he. Oh, he. He did both attacks. Okay. Okay, send him down again. Oh, careful. We still have a third of his health to go. And get rid of this tracking shots. Did we lose it? I think we you, did. You still have the ball. Okay, yeah, this shot is gone, it seems. Or, well, the, the, the shot going after us, I mean. Oh, no, there oh. it is. There's the mother. <laughs> okay, it seems that, yeah, turning and such. Ooh. Okay, we couldn't get it there. It's really sweaty hands now. I'm having to wipe them on my, my shirt for... I, I'm so glad I don't play many games where I have an issue with sweaty hands. Uh, but I can see that become an issue. Okay, the more we twist and turn, the less those things can track us. Oh I'll god, I need to get me. rid of them. I had something else happen to me during a very stressful no, 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 no. Uh, boss fight. Oh. So close! Yeah. Right, I was say, was, was I doing a boss fight of some kind? And I was playing on Pen Resident 3, and somehow my thumb started to, to tear off the rubber on one of the analog sticks. Okay. I, it's still actually, useful, but still. Yeah, with, with one of my controllers, I don't remember if it is my current one or not, uh, I over time wore out the little knobs on the control, on, on one of the control sticks, but I, I currently just uh, have little plastic covers covering them. Yeah, I don't think you really waste. need to cover them, man. I think the rubber is just there for com more comfortable uh, movement with them. Yeah. And blood egg. I remember when my my little brothers of father side were forced to use, you know, uh, third party PlayStation 2 controllers. Is what crap? And many of them actually just lost their rubbers easily, then, so they were playing them without rubbers. Okay. All this is later just for my way due to the cables snapped. Again, third party pleasure controllers are crap. Yeah. Did that hit? I can't tell if that hit. He's probably going to start the lava bots now. Yep, yep. Yeah, if, if we're in one of these tunnels and one of those things hits us, it's game over. It, it, not, not game over, but it's starting over again. Ooh, careful. I can see what you call the infamous. Like, it is cool a lot, but... A checkpoint would have been nice. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit unfair as well. Uh, at least we have a good amount of time still for this. Yeah, I am surprised they expected kids to do this. There we go, it blew up. I just have to go through a, a bit of a corner to lose them. One that they can't come. Um, no, that one that they can't make. Go. 
And again. Okay, I thought I didn't think they were and there were anyone any chasing at the moment. There we go. Get rid of the last shot. No, oh, this one's chasing fast. Okay, so we can get killed by just him flinging himself into us. <laughs> the more we know, the more we get annoyed. Yeah. Put me a hope that uh, his own rockets could hurt him. Uh, I have to say, despite this game's flaws, uh, I still love it. <laughs> I've, I still just love how dorky and dumb Rayman can be at times. And uh, like many old games that we've streamed, I definitely wouldn't mind uh, if they remade this. Uh, just put in some polish. <laughs> put in a checkpoint here. Probably a good thing to do. Okay, you, yeah, they really gain on us on straight bits. That was close. <laughs> I didn't mean to pull a risky move like that, <laughs> but I did. Oop. Yeah, sometimes you end up needing to do them just to be uh, quicker. Okay, let's get this thing before the lava rises. Uh, speak of the devil and his metal razor beard <laughs> show itself. There we go. At least his body doesn't block any shots. Those are still chasing. Yep, there was one that exploded. At the very least, it, uh, it seems that not too many of them can be uh, in the world at the same time, because otherwise this place would probably be filled with the damn things chasing after us. And that, that would be rather extremely unbalanced. And probably gain a lot of hate for the game. I, I think I heard games that were very good, but basically got ne negative score due to how horrible final boss fights were. Yeah, it is possible to still screw things up on the last bit. And come on, let we need to get. I think there's. I think there actually is three chasing us now. Holy. But yeah, if you screw up a boss, final boss fight so badly that it alone gives you negative score, yeah, yeah then you know you screwed up badly. Yeah, bad timing. At least I heard those blow up, but he fires off more. Okay, I... I think I think I'm actually might have actually done this in in the original as well. That I just uh, hump, that I just uh, slide along the wall, and they will hit it trying to turn. They hit the wall there because they couldn't turn fast enough. Yeah, for I think okay. most kids will think that they they need to use the pillars. Yeah, that would but probably the be the one of the well, more obvious ways to getting rid of them. Yeah, they, see, they we just bump into it and bounce off. Those explodes. Okay, I think we need only one or two more strafes. Yep, one more, one more. We should have two more shots to finish this off. Two. I, I didn't count the shots. I might have only one left. No, no, oh, we have our final shot here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
And that's it. Yes. Wait, wait. This escape pod is a life preserver. <laughs> it makes sense, it's well, a life preserver. Ooh, he still has the scars. And, uh, yeah. Shell is happy. Also, I'm, I think that stick he used there might have been uh, the one, <laughs> the, the stick from Tonic Trouble. Okay. Hey man, we honor you this evening. Without your courage, the enemy would still be here. Once again, the world has found harmony. The heart of the world is back together. Not really, we didn't find all the lungs, but, uh, well, they could have just found them after. Now rest, you may have to fight again. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. And suddenly we're in hyperspace. <laughs> As a, uh, yeah, razor beard <laughs> runs off to wherever he goes. Hmm. I, I, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing razor beard again as a villain in a, a Rayman game, even if it's just maybe as a, a side villain or a hidden thing. He is an interesting design and character. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've already said, but we like the design of the Robo Pirates as well. I, <laughs> I should look around if there are official figurines of those out there, maybe. Yeah, like, they, they are simple, but also imp surprisingly imposing, especially Razorbeard. Yeah, they're they're small. Design, their design is simple, but effective. They they don't overdo it yeah. at all. Yeah, they do it just enough, like, sure, he's short. Normally you, you want people just mock uh, short villains, but Razorbeard? He's one of those short villains you don't mess with. You yeah. don't mock with them. The special thanks with an X, of course. <laughs> uh. And yeah, this game, this game is far from perfect. Uh, that, like we, I said, we it would be re it would have been really appreciated if that last uh, bit had a, a checkpoint, a, well, not a checkpoint along the way, since most of it is the flight. Uh, maybe a third phase might have been nice, uh, but uh, yeah, definitely still a good game. And here we have Michael or Mich Michael or Michelle Ansel, who is also the. Uh, what would be even be the word of it? The the brain father of Beyond Good and Evil. Okay. Yep, that was his project as well. <laughs> and he should be working on uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2 at the moment. 
there are still worries about that game since apparently they only recently you know, hired a lead writer, which has some people, well, raising red, <laughs> red flags about it because that was quite late in it. Well, it's been quite a while since the game was announced and only now they have a lead writer. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be cautious about that game. I likely will buy it, at least at one point, but I will wait for reviews first. Yeah. Still, it, it, we're still recovering from the pandemic. We yeah. likely have slowed down still so many things. Uh, well, Beyond Green Evil 2 was announced like over 10 years ago, I think. So yeah, people are yeah people have started joking that it is the new Doom. No, not the not the Doom, not the next Doom Forever, the next Duke Nukem Forever. Oh yeah, that's not good. And the original well, Duke Nukem Forever apparently better than what they got. Yeah, I believe a uh, a prototype of it was released uh, onto the internet at some point. I I know I saw a video about it, but I, I forget by who. I think it might have I'm... been uh, CV11 who got his hands on that, yes. or G-Man lives. Uh, CV11. Uh, CV okay. Oh, this David was Gasman. David Gasman is the boy. Is actually the one who does the gibberish for Rayman, I believe. <laughs> David Gasman. Yeah. <laughs> I've. I, I'm so sorry, lad. I'm so sorry for you. It is a bit odd to read the you know, read credits that are coming at you, but instead of just scrolling down. But it is a nice little but change. What the heck? That was a big lost name. <laughs> and I don't think this will just continue on. I think it will eventually just end. I hope because. Back in the day, we did have games where the credits would just loop over and over and over again. Wait, what? Yeah, I think I remember at least one or two games having that. Configuration tests. Let's see. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, actually, actually this, the, that we managed to finish the game now, uh, before we had to move on to uh, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse for the next uh, third stream in the week actually makes uh, perfect timing with this because that gives me a well, now I can swap out the overlay without it suddenly being uh, different from episode one to episode two on a stream. Okay. And yeah, the, the new overlay, it's, it's basically the same as this, like I said before, just a bigger gameplay window. Uh, I don't think chat will have to sacrifice that much room. But it might be uh, a little bit still. And I might... I've, I've, uh, I said before, the... Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry. It seems, my <laughs> it seems my throat is acting up so a bit. Uh, I might swap... I, the new overlay will have a border around the gameplay window. Uh, but I might change that out uh, every now and then, just to, to test things out a bit and see how things look. Say they expect chaos. <laughs> hmm. Actually, maybe it'd be a nice idea to swap out the border depending on what game we're playing. To try and have something fitting, like maybe metal, spacey stuff. Uh, uh, it, it isn't a big border. But uh, maybe we could just, yeah, have it uh, metallic grays or something when we're playing something futuristic, uh, wooden, and yeah, there's the end. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll have to look at that. For now, though, uh, do we need to press a button? Or... Oh, save the game. Yes, thank you. Okay, uh, we didn't get any new lore from that, and let's let's have one last trip back up the Hall of Doors as we go, just to see everything. 
And yeah, there is one thing that we didn't unlock at one point here, and that was the second race with Lee. Um, I think it, it probably would have been here, or... Hmm. I'd have partially expected there to be a hint towards it somewhere, or something. But, yeah. It, it is a flaw. It, it is... Well, it has its flaws, but it's it's far, far from a bad game. And, Indeed. Well, yeah. It, it did lay a lot of groundwork for 3D platformers. It might not be the absolute father of them all, but it still helped things along quite a bit. And, yeah, here we have the Cave of Bad Dreams. And Shano just bouncing to his own beat. Oh, and, dear. yeah, with that, we arrive back at the Fairy Glade and Murphy. <laughs> so, yeah. That's been Rayman 2, The Great Escape. Um, I should be able to stream tomorrow. Uh, I'll have to double check yet again because I, for I miss... <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I wrote down my ro the roster for my work as it is now uh, in a notebook, but I, I put that into my work bag and that's still downstairs. So I'll have to check it again, but we should be good for stream tomorrow. Possibly, but uh, it'll be up to Drakir if we, we do it, if we take a rest day instead. You made me tempted for it. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, then. Yes. <laughs> All right. And with that, let's go for uh, let's go look for someone to raid. Okay. Mute the site. I, I prepared the lightning cannons. <clears throat> Pardon. Uh, let's see. Uh, nobody we're too familiar with is streaming at the moment. Uh, let's see. We have someone named Nemo Nemo, as in N E M O N A A E M O, who is playing Plate Up. I've heard of that. I believe that is uh, a more roguelite version of over of the Overcooked games. Though I don't really see how you do roguelike with that. Wait, 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 what was, what was his name? Uh, he, the, the game? The streamer's name is Nemo... Nemo. Uh, I meant the game. The game. Yeah, plate Up. Plate Up. Plate Up. I'm not sure if I heard that or not. And then we have that Conrad Zimmerman. We've... we've I think we've raided them before. They are playing Control, which is basically SCP the game. Yeah, I seen it, and I, I did not like it. Okay. Uh, but yes, I had the SCP feeling of it. Yes. But at the same time, it felt like a very heavily nerfed down SCP Foundation. Okay. Um, let's see. Then we have Brother Munro, who's streaming Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Okay, that's not a game I've ever heard of. But a mouthful. Uh, I for Scotland, who is playing Soma, which is a horror game. Oh, I almost forgot that one. Yeah. Um, let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. In Telegame, who is playing Outer Wilds, which that, that's a game we brought up at one point in something uh, in Showcase Sunday, as a possible for streams. Yeah, uh, do we had issues with it. True, yeah, it's it was getting a slowdown when looking in certain directions. Probably because if I remember something about the game uh, accurately, uh, it is loading a lot of di a lot of different things at the same time because there are there's time limited stuff. But uh, yeah. I'll not uh, I'll not speak more of that for, for possible spoilers. Yeah, I, I, I do know that some streamers have streamed it, and many of them uh, streamers, I mean, YouTubers have showcased it, but they, oh, many of them had this same issues. Yeah, I, I think it might be a lightning, th a, a lightning thing, 
but yeah, we've up I've upgraded my computer since then. Maybe it won't have as much trouble. But we'll have to test it again for that. Insert exploding sound. <laughs> and yeah, that that were the uh, small to moderate size streamers. Everyone else has uh, viewers up in the 70s and up, and I'm not really sure if, about rating people like that. Uh, so yeah, any, any of those sound interesting, uh, interesting to you? Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, Nemo Nemo with plate up. Yeah, why not? Yeah, since they're also uh, an aquatic streamer. Okay, get their name, go to the channel. Actually, Would I don't really read. Them? Yep. And I will read New Nuin's fridge. <laughs> okay, there we go. Raid started, and uh, yeah. If we stream tomorrow, uh, if nothing comes up in the mean uh, to get in between, uh, we will be streaming Shantae uh, and the Pirate's Curse, the third Shantae game, and it is quite a bit bigger than the original Shan uh, than the previous Shantae game. Let's see, there's one back at the back. <laughs> uh, he's telling you where the fridge is. He's actively aiding in his own robbery. Yeah. Uh, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, which should quite, take quite a bit longer than uh, Risky's Revenge because it's quite a bit bigger of a game, which is the same for Rayman 3, which, which is actually not the game we'll be going for on the main weeks yet. Uh, we, I'm going to interlace uh, the games in that, well, we do run Rayman now, and well, we finished it, so we do a different game next time, and then we got back to Rayman 3. Yay! So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Noon, for showing up and chatting along. Uh, thank you as well. Uh, uh, oh, I see you lurking there, Atreus. And uh, we had another visitor, uh, Glenn. Uh, I can't scroll up the chat far enough to see, so, but thank you all the same. And as always, thank you as well, Lakir. You're most welcome, uh, my dear friend and captain. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for groundhogs.